Good morning, everybody. Thank you for being here. And if you will, if you'd like to, uh, take your Bible. We'll be in the 24th proverb. We're going to look at uh, verses 13 and 14 today. And uh, this proverb uh, is uh, not a um, a proverb like um, like really I guess we're we're used to. This proverb doesn't um, say do this or don't do this specifically. For for example, um, don't be lazy. Um, that uh, a number of proverbs talks about. This proverb is one that is about wisdom uh, in general and the pursuit uh, of wisdom. And Solomon compares it uh, to honey. And we still today uh, recognize uh, the value, I think, of honey. Uh, there's still a lot of people uh, who point to the um, health benefits of honey. Um, and uh, in, in their day, it was probably more, even more uh, thought of in that way. Um, for one thing, they didn't have any other medicines really. Uh, you know, they didn't have uh, CVS or Walgreens on the corner. Uh, so they had to find other means um, of, uh, of taking care of themselves. And, and honey was one that they recognized as having some good, uh, healthy um, uh, properties about it. Um, it was also their, really their major form uh, of, of sweetening. Uh, it was the sweetest thing uh, that, uh, that they knew of. Uh, and let's face it, it tastes good. And so um, Solomon now compares the wisdom to the benefit uh, of honey. Uh, when he says to his son, he says, wisdom's like honey. The son went, oh, I like honey. Uh, honey, good. And so uh, wisdom, good. And uh, so Solomon says, take, um, you know, take the wisdom um, that uh, is available to you like you would pursue, um, like you would love honey. Uh, again, because it is just as honey is sweet, um, Wisdom is, is sweet uh, for the body, for the life, for the soul. My son, eat thou honey because it is good. And the honeycomb, which is sweet to taste. Um, again, just as honey is uh, you know, sweet and has a good taste to it, uh, is, um, again, um, many studies point to the value of honey physically, um, and uh, he says wisdom is the same way, uh, that wisdom brings uh, joy, wisdom brings uh, health, wisdom brings uh, happiness, just like uh, good honey would. Uh, and uh, he goes on and uh, says the honeycomb, which is sweet to the taste. Uh, I remember uh, as a child, uh, growing up, my great-grandfather um, had uh, a row uh, of beehives out uh, in, uh, in his front yard uh, at his house up in Statesville. And I remember, you know, so therefore we uh, pretty much, the, you know, the family typically had honey. Um, and I remember people trying to get to the honeycomb. Um, and, you know, the, the, he says it's, uh, it's important. He says that you go after the honeycomb. Uh, you should go after that, uh, that wisdom uh, that, uh, that God uh, provides uh, for us. Um, that we have the opportunity uh, to. Verse 14, he says, So shall the knowledge of wisdom be unto thy soul. When thou hast found it, then there shall be a reward, and thy expectation shall not be uh, cut off. Wisdom is uh, a, a blessing uh, to the person uh, who finds it, who uses it, um, you know, as I can again remember as a kid that uh, that uh, again many times there'd be a jar of honey at the house and uh, you'd eat pretty much whatever was on the table because uh, when you got done uh, you got to mix up a little butter and honey and put it on a biscuit uh, it was something you you looked forward to you you sought after uh, kind of disappointed if it wasn't there and 
Solomon is saying to us that wisdom uh, is in that uh, same vein. We should pursue wisdom uh, because it is good for us. It will help us. It will uh, keep us safe. It will keep us healthy. It will keep us um, in the will of God. And so, uh, you know, sometimes it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to uh, follow that wisdom. I, again, I think about uh, seeing uh, my great-grandpa go out to his, uh, to his beehive. And uh, if you've ever seen that, you know, they put on that whole big soup and got the smoker and uh, to, to get the honey. It's, it's not easy. Uh, to to get honey away from a bee, they're not real happy about uh, turning it loose. And sometimes wisdom uh, is hard to come by, uh, but Solomon says we pursue it, uh, we go after it, uh, we seek it uh, like sweet honey. I hope today you'll think about that and you'll spend your day uh, seeking wisdom uh, like sweet honey. Have a great day, and I'll see you back here tomorrow morning.